Cards for Heroes raffle. Here's all the names. All we got to do is hit this button, and we're going to find out who the winner of this truck is. You ready, Terry? I'm ready. Hit the button. If you have not already, it helps us out if you end up going through any of our affiliates, and it helps you out if you end up protecting yourself against cybercrime. NordVPN is one of the best and one of the easiest to use. If you do not have a virtual private network, it protects your IP address, which is your online identity. Go to marfuglenews.com slash VPN. Not only will you get a giant discount on this, but you will also be helping us. First of all, someone won the uh, the custom C10 from the uh, Cars for Heroes giveaway, the the raffle uh, truck giveaway. Uh, I don't, I didn't get the final number yet on how many tickets were sold, but uh, only a small percent was the Fugle Fam, and it looks like somebody got lucky. All right, so let's let's watch the Facebook. This was a Facebook Live video that went out uh, earlier today from Cars for Heroes. Uh, showing the classic C10 truck. Somebody's going to go cruising in this truck. We want to thank all of our sponsorship help, Marfugal News, Shamrock Roofing, Tide Dry Cleaners, 101 The Fox. I'm sure there's a lot more that I'm not mentioning. Okay, it's about time, guys. Cards for Heroes raffle. Here's all the names. All we got to do is hit this button, and we're going to find out who the winner of this truck is. You ready, Terry? I'm ready. Hit the button. Who is it? Fall... Kiki. Kiki, you are the winner of the 66 GMC pickup. Congratulations. Just get a hold of us on Facebook Messenger or give us a call, and we'll get everything set up. We uh, This was earlier today. We found out uh, the person who won, Fall Geeky, did not watch this, and uh, right before the show, we ended up giving her a call. So let's play this. Hey, Fall, this is Adam. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can you hear me? I, I can. So, um, so I, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to call you and I, uh, I'm glad that we reached you today. And, uh, I just wanted to say it's nice to meet you first of all. And, uh, yes. same here. and second of all, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to tell you some, some good news. You, uh, what you, happened? you actually, uh, you bought a, uh, raffle ticket for a truck, a C10 truck. I know they didn't call. My son bought one too. We were just like, uh, we didn't get that. So I went and bought them cards. That's what's fine. Well, did they raise it? Did they sell all the tickets? Uh, yeah, well, no, they didn't sell all of them. They sold 500 and, uh, oh. well, I, I, first of all, I'm sure everybody is like, First of all, I'm sure Cars for Heroes uh, really appreciated, you know, everybody that did go and buy a ticket. Uh, unfortunately for yeah, everybody, okay. unfortunately for everybody else, they didn't win the truck. Um, but fortunately for you, you did. <laughs> you did not buy a car today. I'm 
Hang on. Look. Well, it's the news guy, and I, I found it says 10. I'll, please call my son. He doesn't believe me. Hey, this is Adam from Marfugal News, and uh, your mom just won a, uh, a restored 1966 uh, custom C10. Go tell that. Oh, my God. My mom is blown because I have two teenagers. One just left for college, and the other one's about to, like, a year apart. That's amazing. Well, so are you thinking yeah, about, are, was this truck, is this truck, by the way, you definitely won, so it is yours. Is this going to one of your sons, or are you going to drive it now because you just bought a car, or what's going to happen with this truck? Well, so, I'm going to drive that bad boy. Yeah! <laughs> I'm going to upkeep on the old car. What are you talking about? No, that's mine. That is awesome. This truck's everywhere. Sorry, babe. Oh man. Okay. I'm super excited for you. So that was, that was, uh, fall geeky, AKA FG. You guys know them from chat. And I, I want to point out, so there couldn't have been a better person to win this. Uh, if, as you guys might've heard the other week, uh, heartbroken survivor, uh, called in and she is, um, obviously in her seventies, she lives on her own. She is blind. Uh, it was actually FG was one of the people that reached out to check on her and just you sent a, a letter basically of concern just saying is there is is uh is heartbroken survivor okay and wanted to check and there was only a few people that actually reached out and seriously took an effort to 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 check on uh, heartbroken survivor so we actually just right before like you know responded back like thank you and and uh, obviously we checked on her the other night after the storm because heartbroken survivor is in uh is in uh Florida so when this whole hurricane hit a lot of people a lot of other people checked on her so FG is somebody who not only uh was thinking of her son after talking with her a little bit more it turns out that she just bought a car uh, for her son. Now she has two sons. One has some pretty uh, severe Asperger's. Uh, she's basically somebody who always thinks about other people. She's always helping other people. And she ended up uh, doing this and, and putting her own money out there to buy her son a car today. And I, I believe she bought it today or yesterday. And she ended up buying a, him a brand new Kia. Uh, and so this is this is really, really awesome. I am super, super glad that somebody from the Fugel fam ended up uh, winning and it couldn't have gone to a, a better person. So she is going to be driving that herself. She just won herself a classic restored 1966 custom uh, GMC C10. So congratulations, FG, aka Fall Geeky. Uh, thank you so much for supporting veterans. Thank you, of course, uh, for you know being here and watching us. And uh, I'm glad that we could have facilitated uh, the, the fact that you found uh, Cards for Heroes through us. So not only that, the the money that was raised from this, 100% of the proceeds uh, from this do, this donated truck, that that is going to go back into the system and then help even more veterans get into transportation. So Dex, that was really, that was really, 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 really cool. And I'm glad that we were able to get a hold of her. She didn't see that Facebook, uh, that post. So luckily we had, we had the element of surprise when we told her. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was, that was a, a great moment. I was like, I, and then I'm thinking in my head, like when I told her and she says, oh my gosh, I just bought a car. They had no idea. Uh, they actually she gave up her car. Didn't she say she gave up her car she traded so that in, she could get a car for her for her son? Yep. And then she didn't have a car, so now she just won a car. Well, Perfect. no, no. Specifically, she traded in her old truck, which she used, and that was the the truck that she basically used for all of their you know truck needs. And she traded that in towards this new Kia. Uh, you know, she basically got him the the uh, kind of a base model Kia, but it's like the you know brand new. And to get that, they ended up having to trade in and put a huge down payment down uh, on top of that. So this was huge. This was really, really awesome. And we were super pumped earlier today when we found out that one of the Fugel fam members won. That's huge. And I told you guys, I said there was only at the time last night, it was like 180 tickets sold out of, they were only going to do 500 total 
and they didn't expect to, you know, they weren't 100% sure that they were going to solve them. But this announcement went out to the radio. It went to hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people and then our channel. And I think a, a very small percentage of the people that bought tickets were the Fugle fan, but it really mattered. They, we sold at least uh, 20 tickets or something. So that's at least like $2,000 towards uh, you know, cars for heroes. So that's pretty awesome. So congratulations, FG. And that's why I put you in the song uh, earlier. And of course, uh, nobody else would have caught it, but what was it? Let's see. Congratulations, Fall Geeky. You just won yourself an awesome truck. And you deserve it. All right, let's. Uh, we're going to be moving on the the news. And from Adam, just just a quick reminder though for everybody that wants to continue helping veterans. Uh, you know, we we always have the link for Cars for Heroes on our website, and if you can't remember it, just go to marfuglenews dot com slash c four h. You can get right to their website. If you need a car, if you're a veteran, or if you got one to give, great organization. Yes, it is. And, uh, of course, there's a lot of stuff going on in the world. And, you know, anybody that came home from uh, conflict or war, and they're not all states are treating them very nicely. So it's really great that there are, uh, f there are charities like theirs that are specifically helping the heroes. Uh, they also help police. They al also help firefighters. They also help anybody in special needs. Uh, special needs that, of course, has done something amazing for our country. So also know that a lot of their applications actually come from somebody that is a friend of that veteran. You know what he uh, Terry said is that most of the vets, you know, they don't end up wanting to put themselves up for this because they are humble and they, they don't ask for anything. So a lot of the time it will be a family member that ends up filling out the application and putting them up forward saying, hey, this guy did something amazing and they don't even talk about it. So that is one thing to think about. I do want to remind you, if anybody is out there and they don't have backup power, this is our recommendation because it is one of the best systems out there. We use it. This is how I run my studio. Again, Dex has one of these themselves. We both waited an extremely long time in the very early stages of this because it was such an amazing, uh, of course, solar generator. This is an Energy Flex 1500. If you've never seen them before, uh, this is an absolutely silent solar generator. That's, this is why I think solar is uh, on top. I, I think both people should have both, but really solar is the best way to go as far as long term because you don't have to have barrels and barrels of gas stored up. All you need is some good solar panels. Uh, this system is absolutely amazing because it is modular. You can add as many batteries as you want. And I say that because you can actually extend this up to 96 batteries. At that point, each battery is uh, 1,000 watt hours. So that point is, you know, overkill. I don't think, I don't know if there will be anybody in this world that will actually go and get 96 of them. But each battery is 1,000 watt hours. So huge, huge capacity. And of course, if you are if you have it hooked up to solar panels, if you know how this works, you could even be using it and while it is charging at the same time, so you may not even need more than one. So most people will go for the portability factor. You can throw this anywhere. You can throw it in your truck. You can throw it in your car. You can take it to your cabin. You can do whatever. And you can end up, you know, using it for work, putting uh, power tools and things like this. But more importantly, if your power goes out, whether it be from a disaster or whether it be uh, from a forced thing like a rolling blackout or a major earthquake, storm, whatever it may be, Anyone who has lost power knows it is not fun. You can go to marfuglenews.com slash energy, use the code marfugle, and not only will you help us, but you will also get up to $170 off on certain packages. So that's, again, something that you should go check out. And then also they have the Kodiak X2 that is coming out as well. That is one of the best all-in-one built-in systems out on uh, well, it's actually technically coming out in December. So I have a feeling that this is going to beat all of its competition out of the water. Uh, that is because it does have 6,000 tested charge cycles, which is something that I believe no other has. Uh, that means for 16 years running it from 100% to uh, 0% every day. So if you ran the battery all the way up from the 100% the to 0%, this thing will still have 80% capacity after 16 days of using it every day. So that is huge when you're talking about... Years. 
Years. Yeah. Did I say 16 days? <laughs> yes. Yeah, no. 16 years. After 16 years. And nobody is going to use, probably going to use this every single day. Uh, a lot of van lifers may. But even after that, you'll still have 80% of the capacity. So that's a huge, huge deal. All right. And then that's marfuglenews.com slash energy that helps support our independent channel. That is, uh, again, you know, we don't, we don't get treated the same. <laughs> Feed the haters to the alligators. Your weight on the highway. See you later. DOD is the homie and Mr. Vader. If it wasn't for you, I would never made it. Whole city's covered by the cremated. Now they listen to what we were saying. Doesn't matter if my manufacturer or created. But now.